Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. So I am in my new flat. What the hell? I feel like this day has been coming for so long. Well, it's not today. I mean, I moved a few days ago now, but if I'm being honest, the whole moving process was so slow didn't go to plan just stressful didn't even think to put my camera up and i had planned on doing like a little moving out vlog like i did last time but it was just too much the whole thing was just like a lot to deal with so i thought i'd pick up the camera today it's tuesday and we just do a little like catch up update vlog kind of thing you all say that you wish i did a few more like homely vlog things that are just like my general day-to-day -day life but they never seem to be the ones that do as well so i'm never really too sure but i'm finally living in our new flat as you all know elliot moved into this flat in like june july i think july i have basically been waiting for my house contract to be up not that i was like waiting for it properly because i was living with my friends and i did really love it but i think it was just about time i think i needed this for like productivity and work i was living with four girls before which as much as like they're four of my best friends is just quite difficult to do my job when you're living in a house with loads of people also trying to work from home but i'm super excited to have my own space to do little interior bits just design things be creative we just productivity and being creative are like the main two things I think I'm really looking forward to obviously as well as living with Elliot which it's going to be great it's already been really great and I think we're getting into a good little routine it's so strange for me because obviously I've been coming around here for the last few months anyway and it's just really weird because I always I keep thinking that I'm like coming for a night and then leaving and then I'm like oh wait I live here crazy i haven't really thought much of a structure to today's vlog just thought i've got a few little tasks that i need to do little plants that i need to pot and general stuff that i need to sort out also it's obviously lockdown in the uk so just like i was doing with my lockdown <laughs> vlogs in the last uk lockdown i'm not going to be doing that much that involves going out the house ellie and i've actually been doing little walks but the weather today is like i mean i don't know if we're going to be walking if the weather's like this the weather in the uk at this time of year is just like gray miserable it rains like honestly if not every day like every other day and it's just generally really horrible but yeah we have been doing walks trying to get those 10k steps in it's also the last week of the accomplish challenge which is super exciting i've got loads of really exciting prizes that are going to go in the bundle to whoever wins the challenge which is great and also if you didn't get involved in the first challenge i think we'll probably do another one in like January. I think like the start of the year, something to like kickstart the year. This one has been fab. Everyone's been super engaged in it. But yeah, overall, it's just been great. But it is first thing in the morning and I need to go and put something on my hair because I just got the shower. I need to put some kind of like product in it because otherwise it just goes really frizzy and not very nice. Make a little cup of tea. I've been quite enjoying having cups of tea in the morning at the moment. And, and yeah, just thought I would take you along my day. Right, so with my hair, what I tend to do is just get some of the water out with like one of those wrap around things. And then I go in with this Purology 21 Essential Benefits Spray. I don't really know what it is, but I use the shampoo and conditioner that matches this one in the purple bottle, which I absolutely love. It's 100% vegan. It's free from, what's that thing that you're not really meant to have in shampoo and conditioner? It's silicone, silicone, I think, which is the thing that makes your hair feel like artificially soft. But I have very dry hair and very dry skin. So that one works really well for me. And I love that they focus a lot on sustainability. This isn't an ad by the way, but I just actually really love the brand. So I just go in with a bit of that and kind of just put it all over my hair, I guess. And then the other two products that I really love are these two living proof products and I kind of go between them. This is a newer one and it is a hair oil. I tend to put this on my hair when it's already a little bit dry and if I'm like, oh, that looks really frizzy. This smells incredible. And then this is the one that I really love as well and it's like a cream, five in one style. I really like both of those. So those are two brands that I love for my hair. I'm gonna go in with a bit of the cream today and just kind of put it through the ends. I'm so lazy with it. I don't really dry it, but I think in a way that's good for just not having any heat damage but it is just mainly because i can't really be bothered and also because my hair is quite wavy naturally i feel like if i dry it it goes to this kind of like frizzy haggard hair it doesn't actually look that great so if i dry it i feel like i need to have time to do something to it as well as just drying it pretty much so i avoid that at all costs and there we go, that's what I do. And then I just leave that to dry. Can't actually believe how long my hair's got. That is just 
crazy. Thinking about actually putting some lighter bits, so like I've got the bottom a bit higher up, but then I always think that's really risky because my hair is actually really dark naturally. So the roots are always gonna look really, really dark. But Kylie Jenner's done it, so maybe Annie could do it as well. I feel like I am never gonna get over the fact that we have a built-in coffee machine in the kitchen. Like, is that not the bougiest thing? I feel a bit like embarrassed about it, but we don't own this flat and we didn't put that coffee machine in. But it's obviously really cool. So yeah, I am starting the day with the coffee today. I'm not gonna go through everything that I eat because I feel like they're good little clips to save for full white in a day video, which I can do again soon if you want to, because I'm kind of starting I don't want to say like a full cut, but I think I'm just starting to be a little bit more on it. I have definitely gone back into the eating a lot of takeout food, especially recently, just because we've not had a kitchen. Well, we hadn't had a kitchen probably for a few days before I moved because we just packed everything up and just generally eating out a lot, which I tend to do anyway. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna start to be a little bit more on it, back on track, if that makes sense. But starting off with a coffee today, I have it with my Bon Soy soy milk. It's just the best soy milk ever. I think I've been speaking about Bon Soy on my channel since I actually started YouTube. Cause I think it just tastes so, so good. And then the white like sugary thing I have in it is xylitol, not sugar. My great auntie Annie, who I'm actually named after, she is just the best person in the whole world. And she, well, this this isn't why she's the best person but she introduced me to xylitol a lot of my family live in south africa and a lot of them drink it out there i don't know if it's like a big thing there i had never heard of it before and i think xylitol is also a plant derived sweetener and it honestly tastes just like sugar like you don't get the same like sweetener taste in tea or coffee and i've actually been giving it to elliot recently and he hasn't even noticed yet so yeah still on the day for the little coffee <laughs> i need to remember not to have caffeine too late today because i had a monster at like it must be like three o'clock yesterday. You know that classic like three o'clock dip where you get past lunch stage and you're like, I feel really tired, but I've still got a few more hours to go. So I thought I'd have a monster yesterday. And then I also didn't sleep very well last night and that probably definitely contributed to it. So I want to give you a little bit of like a flat tour, but there is stuff everywhere. So, so I don't want to do a full flat tour just because it's not tidy. It's not like how I'd want it to be. But I thought I could show you a few rooms and there are a few things I want your opinion on and things like that i'm just generally so excited i can't believe i live here and it's actually the first place that i've lived in since i moved out of home i guess it actually felt like my place because i'm not sharing with loads of other people and i don't know it's just a really nice feeling also my whole life i've always moved house loads of times and to know that actually i have control over when i'm moving here is such a nice feeling and just generally feeling really like home i know it sounds really strange because i don't know whether you guys live at home still or like rent or or have moved houses times before but like going into the kitchen and knowing like everything in the kitchen is actually stuff that I've bought and it's mine and I can put anything I want anywhere I know that sounds really weird but it is just the little things isn't it and yeah I think I've moved house like I think it honestly might be over 20 times god that sounds so crazy doesn't it considering I'm 26 wow that's a lot of times there we go Yes. I'm not making a habit out of this. Wait, have you had a protein bar before you've had breakfast? Well, I was worried because I was hungry and I didn't know what time you were going to be back. Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog, how are you doing vlog? Yeah, they're, they're well, thanks. <laughs> Good. Welcome to my humble abode. It looks it's looking a bit cluttered today. I in a hall. Oh, did you? Why you why Already you? this morning? It's not filming, but you can pretend it's filming. Did you see Do you I want to see Elliot's little shoe collection thing? This is great. It was my idea though, wasn't it? That I decided that you should have them too. And Elliot's got the same mirror. Basically, we've copied each other. And he's copied me. <laughs> no, I haven't. I was here first. So. Do you want to show your artwork as well? Because this is actually yeah, I did really cool. No, this was from yeah, Sam. Sam. Yeah, so that was uh, Sam Pilkington. Look at that piece of Very, art. very yeah, cool. Me. I'll put his, uh, Annie will put his thing up on the screen now. Okay, will I? Thank you. <laughs> and then we've got these two, well, Elliot's got these two photos that Matt did. 
you'll recognize that from my old bedroom actually because I had exactly the same one but actually maybe we can show you this room because this used to be a spare bedroom and we've kind of turned it into like basically a study for Elliot with his dressing room and everything in and then we got a sofa bed from Made, which we actually found on eBay which is wanna, quite a good tip I just want to take some credit here I actually found it, the sofa bed. It was my idea. It was your- And the brand was my idea. The what? The brand. Yeah, well, it was made. No, it was my idea. No, it wasn't. It was, I found the sofa oh, bed. Oh, we'll agree to disagree. So I found the sofa bed, okay. then I found them online. eBay, as Annie said, is a great place to get it. My idea. Then, it literally wasn't your idea. <laughs> And then Elliot's got these wardrobes. <laughs> He's got wardrobes <laughs> with his clothes in. We don't know why the landlord chose brown leather panels. Like, imagine they were mirrored. I know. It'd be so How much better they oh look. Honestly, it Very annoys good. me even thinking about it. And we've got the same in the bedroom. But yeah, this is the state of the corridor. Oh, wait, 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 so I'm wait, not going to show wait, you. Wait, wait. If you want to see what's in the wardrobe, I'm just editing the hall now. So come over to my channel. Okay, and watch Elliot's yeah. wardrobe video. Thanks. Great. <laughs> Right, so I thought I'd show you a little sneak peek at this room. So this is basically our bedroom, as you can see by the bed here, but it's very unfinished. And then this is this kind of like basically empty dressing roomy area. Like I just said, with Elliot's room, I have put two of these like shoe racks down the side. And then we've got a big mirror in here as well, which is fab. But I just don't really know what to do with this area because it seems like a bit of like a wasted space. And what I was thinking, some kind of like vintagey rug here. But my only worry with that idea is that the flat is obviously super modern. But I was thinking some kind of rug here and then some kind of chair here. I can kind of like fling clothes over, you know, that kind of thing. But we've got this massive Ikea chest of drawers, which I actually had at my family home. I don't know if anyone has been subscribed to my channel since then. And then just all my cute little trinkety things on top. But yeah, my only worry is that this flat is so, so modern. And I love that in lots of ways because it's very practical. Everything just works pretty well. It's quite like... Like, I don't know, it's just easy to keep clean and it looks clean. My style is definitely a little bit more traditional. Like I would love to live in an old house when I'm older, but just put lots of like slightly newer features in. I love like vintagey bits and pieces, which is funny because this flat is obviously almost like complete opposite to that. So I'm really trying to add in bits that just, I don't know, just make it feel a little bit more homely and not as hotel-like. And I think we are definitely on the right path with it, but just don't really know what to do with this kind of whiteness and putting a rug on the floor because I basically have just seen this picture on Pinterest. It has this like orangey, greeny, patterny thing in. And then I would love a really cool tan leather chair, which I could also try and find secondhand. I've just realized as well. I put on that Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood glow, Hollywood but basically I don't usually put on makeup for the day, but I feel like I'm just looking so like pasty and not great at the moment that I thought I'd put it on for this video. But the problem is, is that because I never wear it, it was one of my lockdown purchases and I think I've worn it twice since last lockdown. I don't really know what to do with it properly and you definitely need to use some powder to like set the shininess but you know maybe we'll do that after this i actually brought you in here though because i thought we'd get dressed for the day i am so so bad at actually putting on an outfit and i just basically live in tracy bottom which is fine because i'm working from home and i like to be comfy but i just thought we should try and put on an actual outfit just thought that might be a nice little idea so we can maybe do this together so what i was thinking is some kind of like roll neck top. Look actually how neatly I've organized all my tops. I mean, you might remember my old bedroom was kind of similar, but I'm super proud of this. I think it's so easy to find everything. So these are like t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. And then these are like long sleeved going out tops. Don't know if this is very interesting for anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, thinking long sleeved kind of vibe. I actually suddenly got really warm. So I had to nip to the post office this morning and I was carrying a load of boxes. And then, you know, when you're like, it's definitely cold outside, but I'm suddenly boiling hot. Right. <laughs> This is the outfit of the day. We have got on this little white 
I don't know what it is, like a turtleneck, I guess. Or is it mock neck? I don't know, I've always called it turtleneck. You know when it doesn't like actually fold over, but it's like a white long sleeve top, which was from Nobody's Child a few years ago now. It's kind of this like silky ribbed material. This Urban Outfitters oversized shirt. I heard someone the other day call it a shacket, which I thought was the most ridiculous word ever, because it sounds like a swear word, jacket. Not a good word. But yeah, I've got this Urban Outfitters over shirt. Oh, oh my gosh, oversized shirt. And and then these jeans, which are from Minga. And I actually got these kind of like the start of this year, but I think they're still in stock. I will link everything in the description box just in case you guys do have any questions about them. But these are just like an oversized pair of baggy jeans. I did actually buy these in a size six, which is crazy. I'm never ever a size six. I'm very much a size eight and they fit me really well. So I definitely recommend sizing down. But yeah, cute little outfit for the day. Maybe we'll add in some little earrings as well and try and get rid of some of this face shine. Yes. Mm. And last up, a little pair of, well, a big pair of chunky gold hoops, which I absolutely love. Just finished up an outfit. I feel like I'm a bit obsessed with gold hoops at the moment. Always been a hoops person, but I feel like they're getting bigger and bigger. I think these ones are super cute. So I thought we'd do a bit of gardening together because it's on my list of things I need to do today. I basically ordered a ton of herbs like this how cute is this from a website called like kitchen garden which is all the ones that i felt like i would probably use in cooking so this is rosemary which reminds me of my mum so much i actually hardly ever cook with rosemary but i do plan to and i have bought a ton of herbs like that and i've actually grown one of my own which i will show you as well because i want to make a little instagram reel out of it later because i actually did one a few months ago of regrowing my spring onions i don't know whether any of you have seen it and it went down quite well and loads of people tried it and have tagged me in it and i tried to do the same with the basil and it's gone really really well so we need to repot this today but basically i have bought this little trolley i don't know if you can see just there outside i'll show you properly when we go out and pot them but i'm planning to have loads of little pots of herbs on the trolley so you can know you can like wheel it around you can wheel it inside if i need to if it gets like a bit too cold although i do think that herbs usually do live outside i did plan with this flat because we've got a lot more balcony space to actually be able to grow things a little bit and i can definitely tell that gardening is something i'm probably going to get really into my dad is super into growing things and always growing like loads of fruit and vegetables he's just very very passionate about gardening and i'm kind of hoping that i will go down a little bit of the same roots obviously we don't have a garden or anything at the moment but we do have space that we can grow stuff on so i thought we'd do that together today but let me just show you the basil quickly so you can see what i'm talking about actually i might have to take you down here yeah so this is my little run of herbs and i'll go through those properly in a second and then away at the back Woo. we have got my basil so i actually really need to pot this now it's got so big but basically i just took i'm in a really difficult position there let me just move <laughs> I basically just took a stem from my supermarket herbs. You know, if you buy them at the supermarket and you usually buy them to use like one herb and then you don't end up using it properly. So basically I put one in some water and look at that. It has literally just grown its whole own root system. And we've basically got a basil plant and I've got two of them. So I thought rather than buying a basil, like I've bought these, I would just, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about though is that there's only one stalk, if that makes sense. Whereas, you know, you can see with these, there are like multiple stalks stalks but I don't know whether it'll kind of do that itself I sort of hope it will but I just didn't want to buy one because I just thought I have basically made one myself which is pretty cool but I'm gonna film a little Instagram reel out of that at the same time but also try and like update you on the vlog but if I don't get to update you properly on like how I did it and do go over to my Instagram because I'll probably post that today but yeah I need to find some bigger pots outside which I think I've got and then just get those growing in their own pots repotting it into a bigger pot so that they can grow because at the moment oh, and as I will show you in a second they are completely root bound so if you can see this one will probably be the same yeah look that needs repotting so badly you can see all the roots they've got nowhere to go and yeah that will basically just start dying really soon so basically just taking a little pot putting some good quality compost at the bottom then adding the plant in. 
I don't know if I'm doing this completely right, by the way, but this is just what I usually do. <laughs> and then filling, you can see there are gaps around the outside because it's obviously a much bigger pot. And then filling that with compost around the sides like so so it's got a lot more room to grow and get a lot bigger so i won't feel guilty when i chop bits off it <laughs> so i thought i could add all of these to here and then it's on a little trolley and i can kind of wheel it around when i want and i thought it would be really cute so i'm just gonna put those on and then i'll show you when i'm done Right, sorry about the background noise, but added in my little basil plant, which I did the Instagram reel of like how to make this and whatever, but I literally just potted it in basically the same plant pot as the others. And this is the second one, and I don't really know what to do with this because it doesn't fit on properly. So I might give it to a friend or I might just put it below, but I feel like it's gonna be a bit left out. But yeah, cute. And hopefully they will flourish into fully grown basil plants just like the others. Right, well, Elliot's coming through my outfit. I've been wearing this all day. Say so we don't bum into anyone we know. You haven't been wearing all day, <laughs> you little snake. It's actually so funny. And mine's actually a lot nicer though, so winning. What? So off on our daily walk, which we're trying to make a habit mm, of, aren't we? Yeah. Getting in those 10K steps. steps. 10k steps was my challenge, my thing that I wanted to do, my accomplished challenge, because I actually find it really difficult to do unless I'm going out for a little walk. So here we are. And we've also said that because we're obviously now living together, yep. that, <laughs> yes we are, that it's quite good because one of us will probably always want to go on the walk. So if there's someone that doesn't want to go, you feel like you have to or you feel guilty. We are back from our walk and I'm gonna try and get a little bit of a workout in. I've decided I'm gonna do an F body workout. I'm gonna do one of the accomplish workouts. Week eight, we're gonna do week eight, <laughs> day six workout. So there's the main bit of the workout and the finisher. I'll show you in a second, but it's actually week six of my challenge, like I said before. And I feel like I've really, really slacked the last well, probably the last week really so i was actually doing the live workouts before that but i was just finding it so difficult to do workouts at home but um i'm actually really sad about the fact the gyms have closed this time because i feel like i was just about getting into doing them again but we're going to be doing this day five workout um so actually if you guys haven't seen this on the athlete app this is my accomplish cut guide so you've got all the exercises and then there are videos of each exercise so you can see exactly what you're doing, so that's single arm shoulder press, and then you can see when it's a superset, you can track how many reps you did and what weight you used and everything like that. And then we've got a finisher at the end, but I can't always do the finisher because of my injury. So we've got walkouts, which I can do, back vocal, high planks, pike. Okay, amazing. So I can do that whole finisher for this one. Quite often they have got little sweaty plyometric exercises in the finishes, which I obviously can't do because of my knee, but yeah. Anyway, we'll give it a go and we'll see. I'll try and film like a little bit of it so you guys can have a little insight. What I tend to do when I'm doing dumbbell workouts at home is I tend to complete them as a circuit just because I find it a little bit more motivating when it comes to doing a workout at home than it is to do four sets of each, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna literally go through all the exercises and then go through all of them again four times rather than doing them quite like it says on the app, which is exactly how I've stretched them on the lives as well. I don't have the time, bro, I don't wear a watch I'ma move regardless, just like the clock Been around here before, I've been on this block 25 to life, bit, I live on this rock Planet Mars, dog, my planet raw Took trips and landed far, took hits I can't ignore My chest got a black hole, I dealt with a black crow White dove, a black soul, white ball My past clothes, I try to get away from it Not trying to let the vapors in Time fly when you wasting it Fast life, I was racing it And I knew I had to pay for it Always knew that I was made for this My path, I paved the shit My path, my grave in it, so Past lives, they hover over like crows Just like I hover over my code All hell, almighty freedom I chose Tall tales, my eyes see to my road 
Don't look at the clock, I don't even got time I seen people ride, I seen people stop I seen people let it pass by I seen evil, maybe that's why I seen needles next to that wine I seen demons and I seen signs I need reason, you don't need mine Once I took a roll of that dice That shit took control of my life Twice I paid the toll for that price Nights and days, hoping I fight That is my workout complete I actually really enjoyed it And definitely have a lot of endorphins Which always makes me kind of motivated for the next workout I always say, if you've been really, really not feeling motivated motivated you haven't done a workout for a while it's doing the first workout that's always the hardest bit once you've done one you remember the buzz that you get after it to do the next one I always think so I was dreading today's but I got through it and I'm feeling great so I'm gonna go and grab myself a protein bar but I think I'll probably end the vlog here well I actually filmed quite a lot today considering we're in lockdown and I haven't actually left the house also I can't believe how dark it is like literally it's what's the time it's literally 5.20 and it's honestly pitch black outside, which is crazy. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I'll see you on my next one.